Hi, I'm Becky. We're here at the Water Conservation Center where we just wrapped up the Girls Who Solve Watershed Expedition Day Camp. We took 17 middle school girls to the mountains, down to the river, and followed it all the way down to the coast. They explored our watershed, learned more about some of the threats and problems that it faces, and then they came up with some solutions. So day one, we headed up to the San Antonio Creek. The girls took a hike up to this awesome viewpoint. They got a sense for what our watershed is. They could see up to the mountains and down below to the valley. Then we headed down to the stream. We did some water testing to see if the stream could support fish habitat. They looked at stream bugs, which we call macroinvertebrates. So they turned over a lot of rocks and identified different species. There's a bug on top of a bug. Ah. After lunch, we headed over to the fire station and looked at what the Forest Service does to protect the watershed. Day two, we wanted to see, how does a river look different than a creek? How does human impact affect our river downstream from these more pristine headwaters that we were at the day before? So we went down to the Santa Ana River. The girls had time to go and meet some of the birds, the bugs, the bees, the butterflies that live in these beautiful river environments and they got to identify them, document them, and bring back pictures to look at later in the week. Day three was all about learning how the mountains and the valleys that we explored influenced the coast. So we drove down to where the Santa Ana River meets the Pacific Ocean. The girls got to check out a thriving estuary at the Peter and Mary Muth Interpretive Center in the Newport Bay. The campers also got an opportunity to just enjoy the beauty of their watershed and by hanging out on the beach, learning more about tide pools, getting to feel that Pacific Ocean, and also experiencing what happens when you don't clean up your trash. Seagull took my sandwich. <laughs> and it took her fruit roll up and off, basically off her whole lunch. Yeah, my whole lunch. And all what left was my lemon cookies. <laughs> Day four, our final day of camp. The girls were out thinking about the week and thinking about different solutions to some of the problems that they saw. You could feel how much of a think tank this place became. We saw everything from a choose your own adventure video. We're gonna do a video. Here are our problems. Covering the main questions asked in science, which are who, what, where, when, how, and why. <laughs> Some of the girls actually took over our social media accounts to inspire our followers to, to care about our watershed. We saw some young entrepreneurs. And we go, adult macroinvertebrate today. And we saw some other great films and videos okay. as well. Scene one, cause and effect. What's the one time? The project is a play. We all like Harry Potter. Yeah. It's like we're trying to mix in Harry Potter with the watershed. These girls came up with some really innovative, out-of-the-box solutions to help educate the public about what a watershed is. What did you guys know about the watershed before you started camp? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. 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 It had to do with no. water. And how, how do you feel about it now? It's crazy how much you can learn in just a couple days. I feel like if someone asked me, I could I feel it. smarter. Now I think we're not 100% experts, but we know a lot about it and all the issues that come with it. I know what a watershed is, what I can do to help, and why I should care about it. Hashtag. Yeah, <laughs>